Hi, my name is Carrie White with ITSEC TV, and I am here with Gregorio Battistello and Nicholas Hellish, and they have come to ITSEC with their game Project Zap. Thanks, guys, for taking the time to talk to me. Tell me a little bit about how did you come up with this concept, Nicholas? Uh, it was mostly to present the game here at ITSEC and to teach children like the basic aeronautics but in a fun and entertaining way because most simulations are like very boring and kids aren't going to play boring games. You know. What's your target age audience? Um, our target age audience is like from elementary school, mostly, mostly for her first through fifth grade. Um, yeah. Great, first through fifth grade. And so is this actually out there in the schools right now or is this um, more of a prototype that you're seeing how, how it's perceived? Yes, uh, we plan to eventually uh, bring it to schools to kind of test it. This is mostly like the beginning testing of seeing if people enjoy the game. And then we're going to bring it to schools, have them test it, and then we're going to release it as a full product for free for them. So once you start the game, you can start building your rocket and selecting different pieces that will affect the statistics, such as power, weight, stability, and shield. One thing you want to have is weight less than your power because then it will be too heavy and it won't fly and it will just kind of dangle and fall to the ground. Uh, right now he's building the rocket of his dreams, I'm assuming. And after he finishes that, he will be able to launch the rocket. But as you can see, the, the statistics change every time he selects a new piece. And the shield is pretty much his health. Stability is how well it turns in the air and such. And weight is gravity, which the teacher would be telling the students while they were playing, so that way it would be easier for them to understand. And power would be thrust of the rocket. So then you can control the rocket after you fought it, after you built it. And he's going to avoid the UFOs, but he's gonna try and get the collectibles such as the green power-ups or the blue ones. The blue ones which will give him a speed boost and the green ones which will give him health or more shields which he did not. Thank you guys so much for taking time to talk to me today. I'm Carrie White with ITSEC TV.